Today's lesson would be the two types on how we are going to record credit sales. When we say credit sales, it is known as sales on account. Sales on account nangyayari to tuwi nagpibenta tayo ng inventories and utang yun from our customers or buyer. So kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng receivables. So the two types in recording the credit sales are the gross and net method. Let's start off with the first one which is the gross method. In here, accounts receivables and sales are recorded at gross amount of invoice. Pag sinabing gross amount of invoice, kung ano yung price ng inventory sold to customers as it is na yung amount na yun. If there are cash discounts given by the seller to the buyer, it is not yet considered. Sa gross method, the amount of invoice is at gross amount meaning before deducting any cash discount offered. Next is the net method. In here, accounts receivables and sales are recorded at net amount of invoice. Ibig sabihin ng net amount of invoice, any cash discount is already deducted. So yung amount na receivables na recorded sa book is after deducting any cash discount. Kaya tinawag din siyang net method, it is net of the cash discounts offered. To fully understand the differentiation between the two, let's have sample transactions. So we have sale on account amounting to 4,500,000 with terms 2 over 10 and over 30. So the 2 over 10 represent the cash discount na kung saan the customer will be given 2% cash discount if paid within 10 days after the sale. So to record this under the gross method, the amount would be at the gross amount which is 4,500,000. Hindi pa natin i-consider yung cash discount na 2%. The entry would be we debit accounts receivables and credit sales amounting to 4,500,000 which is under the gross method. Next is the net method. So in here, we have the same transaction but different application. Of course, kasi magkaiba ang treatment ng gross and net method when recording credit sales. So discuss a while ago, net method, we record credit sales at the amount net of cash discount. Ibig sabihin after deducting yung 2% cash discount. So first, let us find yung cash discount. 4,500,000 multiplied by 2%, we will get a cash discount of 90,000. So that 90,000 is deducted in advance sa net method. So 4,500,000 less 90,000 na cash discount will give us a net amount of 4,410,000. The entry to record would be we debit accounts receivables and credit sales amounting to 4,410,000 which is the net amount of credit sales. Next transaction under the gross method is collection within the discount period. So since sa gross method, hindi pa natin kinonsider yung 2% cash discount, dito magre-reflect yung cash discount natin. So the entry would be debit cash amounting to 4,410,000 and debit sales discount amounting to 90,000. So paano natin nakuha yung sales discount? We just multiply 4,500,000 to the 2% cash discount. After that, we credit accounts receivable amounting to 4,500,000 kasi nga we already collected kung ano man yung receivables natin. And the net method, same transaction. However, di ba previously, nag-record na tayo ng credit sales at amount net of the cash discount. So dito sa collection within the discount period, we no longer record a sales discount. So yung 4,410,000 is yun na yun. So we just simply de-recognize yung receivables natin upon collection within the discount period. So we just debit cash and credit accounts receivable amounting to 4,410,000. So, wala tayong problema if the customer availed the cash discount. The next transaction would be collection beyond the discount period. So, under the gross method, di na lang natin papansinin yung 2% cash discount. So, yung basis natin dito would be the gross amount of invoice which is 4,500,000. So we just simply debit cash and credit accounts receivable amounting to 4,500,000. So walang sales discount. Hindi inavail ng customer yung sales discount. Meaning nagbayad siya beyond the 10-day period. 
So, dito tayo magkakaproblema sa net method. Since we recorded the amount of credit sales at the net amount of invoice, meaning, after deducting any cash discount, paano kapag hindi nag-avail yung customer ng discount? Meaning, may for feature of the sales discount. Dito tayo medyo magugulo ng konti kasi nga, noong sale transaction natin is nag-record tayo ng credit sales at the amount after deducting the cash discount. Saan mapupunta yung cash discount? So, this time, the entry would be with debit cash amounting to 4,500,000. So, buo yung makukuha natin and we credit sales discount forfeited. So, dun mapupunta yung 90,000 na sales discount na hindi in ni customer. So, what is this? The sales discount forfeited is considered as other income. Ito yung account title used whenever we use net method pero at the end of the day is hindi nag-avail ang customer ng cash discount. So, it is considered as other income. So, we credit accounts receivable at the amount na record natin, which is yung net amount of 4,410,000. So, by that, the accounting entries that we made is still in balance.